Hello, welcome back to Cloud and Web Developer. A while ago, I made a video about how you could install GPT-2 in your local machine or in a cloud server. And then after that, you could connect it to your APIs, you know, your local applications, your personal projects and things like that. And that was fine, it worked perfectly. But now, uh, after I got an M1 machine, an Apple Silicon computer, it stopped working. I mean, I couldn't even get it installed with the same process that I used in my own video. So I feel like I want to update that information, put it out there because it wasn't straightforward. It's not listed anywhere that I could find. I had to follow different tutorials and Stack Overflow, connect the dots, uh, trial and error, and it finally worked. So I'm just going to put it in a concise manner in this video so you don't have to go through that hassle and that frustration. All right, so uh, as you can see in my, co in my screen right now, uh, I am indeed in an M1 computer. And what I would suggest you to use is Anaconda for this uh, particular project, right? Because we want a particular version of Python and that's 3.6. So you come to this page right here, you download the installer for Mac OS. And it's right here, I already downloaded. It, and it's a very straightforward installation. So I'm just gonna perhaps fast forward this part. All right, so when it's done, you launch the navigator. 10 hours later. You fucking finish, Anaconda, seriously? <sighs> All right, so once that's done, click on the play button and open your terminal. And I'm gonna create uh, directories to do all our, our work here. I'll call it GPT-2. All right. And then from here, uh, I'm gonna create a virtual environment to make sure that all my libraries and installations goes into one particular place because it's a very particular installation of Python for for this whole thing to work. So, Python. Then we activate vim vin activate. All right. Cool. And then the first thing we need to do is to upgrade our pip with this command. pip install upgrade pip. And you let it complete. And make sure you're in the path that you want to be. Yes, I am. And I'm going to clone the GPT uh, repository from GitHub OpenAI. And I'm going to be adding all these commands in the description of the video. This is just for simplicity and so we can move forward quickly. All right, so now we should have it installed. So we're gonna get inside the GPT-2 folder. As you can see, I'm in the master branch. And the first things, uh, the first thing I need to do is to actually modify the requirements.txt file. Actually, wanna make the font a bit bigger. Okay, and so this one. Uh, rejects. Let's modify it to 2021.9.30. Wrote everything. Yep, it's the new version. All right. So once that's done, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the installation of all the requirements in this file. So pip install requirements txt. Let it finish. And then from here, the next thing I need to do is to start bringing down the models. So the thing in the repository is that the models are not there. You need to choose which model you want to bring to your computer. And there are four models that are available for you for sizes. Uh, 124M, 355M, 774, and 1.5 billion parameters, respectively, right? So for this video, I'm just going to download the smallest one. Uh, because I already downloaded the larger one. And remember, the larger model will give you better text samples. So that's why you want to keep uh, a good one here. But for this video, I'm just going to download the 124M. So Python download the underscore model dot pi space 124M. And this is going to start executing uh, on a script that's come already within the repository. And it's going to take a while to download, depending... I mean, I have a really good connection to internet. It's just probably their server is a bit slow. So I'm just going to make a cut here and wait for it to download. All right, so the model is finally downloaded. And then there is another library we need to install. It's a little one, important one, called TensorFlow. And TensorFlow has always been the problematic one. And I want to install TensorFlow 1.15. 
And normally you would do pip install TensorFlow equal equal 1.15 and so on and so forth. But do not do that. Uh, that was a problem that I was trying to overcome and I found a way to do it. And there's a particular version of TensorFlow that somebody hosted here as a Python wheel file for Mac CPUs. So this is the one you want to use. And again, I'll leave the command in the description. All right, so now that we have installed all those libraries and the model, we can start activating and trying to run the program. And to do that, I'm going to do Python 3 SRC interactive conditional samples.py dash dash top underscore K 40. All right, I'm glad this error came up because it doesn't always come up, but this time it did and I know the solution for it. So it, it tells you that TensorFlow has no attribute sort. To fix that, there's another command that I'm going to put in the description. Uh, which is the one I'm going to run right here. Uh, you need to give uh, admin uh, permissions and it's done. And once that's done, you can try again the, the interactive conditional samples command with Python 3. And hopefully this time it'll go through. And as you can see, it did. Now, when you see model prompt, it means that it's ready to receive uh, any kind of text prompt that you want to, you know, get a... a a reply back so to speak so for example I'm gonna copy the little red writing hood uh, from this uh, page enter and in that uh, the system is now you know chugging along and it's gonna in a few minutes gonna give me some answer back and remember we're using the 124m model so if you want something better of better quality I suggest you to download the 1.5 the process is exactly the same you just need to have uh, the models in in a particular folder right and that folder is going to look like this right so this is the models folder and in here in this case i have the 124m and i had already before downloaded the the larger one 155m so yeah this is what you need to do and then you can choose which one you want to use to generate your your re responses and it has done it so i put my prompt of the little red riding hood and this is what it says back right it continues the story in a very cute way. All right, so I can, I'm happy that it worked for M1. I can start playing with it again, reconnect backends to the program that I was working on before. And I hope you don't have much problems uh, with this method. I remember the key was Python 3.6, uh, TensorFlow 1.15, but from that particular link that I put there and also fix the sort command for TensorFlow <laughs> Uh, the way that I show in this video, and I'm pretty certain that it will work. It should work, right? And I don't need to have Anaconda open next time. Like Anaconda, it's uh, essentially done. So I have, this is my folder. And because I did a, a virtual environment, I can just straight go here from the next time, right? And um, And I'm inside uh so the virtual environment and i'm in master right and yeah it should work now directly perfect yeah yay we did it all right guys that's all for today thank you for watching and if you have any questions let me know this is carlos for cloud and web developer i'll see you next time bye, -bye.